Hello guys, have you ever needed to find some kind of a specific validation rule for example and you didn't remember how it is called or which rule is better? What do you do in this case? For example, you are in a form request file and you need to write that validation rule and you need to remember. Of course, you go to browser, you open your tab, go to Laravel docs for example and Google for Laravel docs validation for example, right? Then you go into validation, then on that page you find available validation rules and then you try to find the rule. What if I told you there is an easier way? In the newest Laravel 9.23, Tim McDonald released PHP Artisan Docs command, which will search the docs for your specific keyword and open the browser with that keyword. So imagine, again, go back. You are in your PHP Storm or your IDE, and then you need to open the terminal. I will open the PHP Storm terminal, or you can do command tab or alt tab to real terminal in your operating system and you type in php artisan docs and then your keyword validation rules for example right what happens it opens the browser not only on that page of validation but also on the section of that page immediately for the validation rules isn't that faster now if we scroll down and search for interesting details of that artisan docs command and how it works even shorter example is by Tim himself. He made an alias of PHP Artisan to just A on his operating system. And then A docs VA un opens validation for rule unique. Of course, you need to experiment with different keywords and it may be landing on the wrong page sometimes, but you get the idea. You can also type in just PHP Artisan docs. And then you have a choice. What do you want to see? It has the list of topics. And for example, you want queues, then you go into queues. By the way, important note, I've seen somewhere on Twitter or here on GitHub that this automatic open of the browser works well on my MacBook, for example, but it may not work well with Sail or on Windows operating system. Not sure about the details because I'm not a user of Sail or Windows, but just keep in mind. What else do we have inside of Artisan Docs here? The order is important, so by letter V it matches the first in the docs, so views. Then the command also attempts to guess what page with similar text function. For example, if you made a typo with views like this, it will still open the views. Next, what if you want not the exact section of the documentation, but specific something, search for something in the docs. Like for example, I would like to search for Algolia, for whatever reason. I go PHP Artisan Docs, dash dash, and then search query, Algolia for example. And let's see. Yeah, so it opens the docs with the query of Algolia, search, and then search results by Algolia. Also important thing, it will open the documentation version of your project. So Artisan Docs command will look into what Laravel version you have currently by application version and will open that version of the docs automatically. So that's extremely handy for those who work on not the newest Laravel version because then you don't need to make extra clicks to choose your own Laravel version in the docs. And then Tim explains a lot of things that are happening under the hood, including caching, custom ask, and also so-called fuzzy finder. Yeah, it's called fuzzy finding or matching. And then future scope, what may be improved is instead of opening the browser, showing docs in the terminal. So we would not even leave our PHP storm or our IDE or terminal. Not sure how exactly it would work because the documentation is still pretty visual and should take a lot of screen space, but maybe Tim will come up something with the help of community. For now, PHP Artisan Docs is the newest addition to Laravel framework. To me, it would save quite a lot of seconds, but those seconds accumulate over time and will become like hours saved. So I want to thank Tim for wonderful work. And if you want more news on Laravel framework, when new versions are released or new tools or new packages, subscribe to the channel. I keep shooting daily videos and trying to review all the news as they happen pretty fresh on this channel. And see you guys in other videos.